Bag fuel, baby. Ice Spice breaking contracts. She claims she didn't break them, though. She claims she claims she didn't break them, and, and, and those four thousand dollar dudes, they not complaining no more. Let's keep it real. Well, she claimed she showed up to a four thousand dollar dude in New York City with the black cat suit on. Yeah. So okay. apparently, you know, um, she had made news because you know her popularity has exploded through the roof, and rightfully so. You know, she she's pumping, she's hot out there, and um, whatever they had booked her initially. Where there was four thousand, when her buzz was at a particular point, she's like, "Damn, I gave him a discount, whatever she signed for the contract." And other people were booking her for three times the amount, and four four times the amount. Pardon me. And when you look at that, I, I can see her feeling away. No, no, look, <laughs> yo, Esso, Esso, yo, Esso, no, come with this shit yeah. from? Yeah. How can she? How you? How do you do a deal? How do you do no, a deal with somebody she and should... take money and fill some type no, of no, 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 no. I'm not saying she should break it. I can see her feeling a way of, damn, I know I wasn't at this price and I'm getting this and they're getting the discount for whatever the time they put in. I can see somebody feeling they a pay, way. They pay in advance. I, I, I don't disagree, so I can see as being a savage and a nigger, I can see them saying, damn, man. That should have been 15 then. What about not being a savage? What about being thankful and blessed and saying my hard work is paying off? Why, why do people skip that? I, I, mm-hmm. I just don't understand. Mm-hmm. You get some success. Oh, I'm a freaking savage. No, I've gotten success and I feel more blessed. Of course. I've calmed down more. I'm more thoughtful. I'm more thankful. Why would I then turn around and be like, I'm blessed now. Yo, I gave it to y'all for 4000 Do you know what a $4,000 gig is for somebody who doesn't have a major record deal yeah. and is not out? $4,000 a booking is much respect. So they have respect for, for this girl, and I didn't even know her at the time. Mm-hmm. And she was getting $4,000 gigs, right? So yeah. why you turn around and say, because, because the promoter, this is how they make money. I, I did this before. You figure out who's who going to be hot. Yeah. And you pay them early. Mm-hmm. So if you think that they lit, yo, I'm going to book you now for November 15th. What's your price? Four or 5000 I'm giving you. Lock it in contract. Lock, mm-hmm. lock it in. And I'm watching, hoping, hoping this pray. girl keeps yo. blowing up, keeps blowing up, keeps blowing up. Because why? I believed in you beforehand. Now you're telling me, no, this is what Hans telling mm-hmm. me that he thinks is cool. I give you the money in September, and a month later, you call me like, yo, S. Uh, I never said that. I said I can understand feeling a way. I'm not. No, no, no. Still, again. Is that not condoning no, it? No, I'm not saying that. I okay. never said, yo, she should break the contract. She should call them. But and you I, understand her feeling like she's getting jerked? I could feel her being like, damn, yo. I, I know I agreed to that. But I'm getting this. And it was like, uh, I can, uh, I can sympathize a little bit. Am I saying she should break the contract? No, no. Did I say no? Don't do that. What am no, I gonna no, ask you? No, no. What no. am I gonna ask you? No, no. Listen, listen, don't do that. Listen, what am I gonna ask? listen. I'm not saying she should break the contract. Uh-huh. I'm not saying she shouldn't perform. Uh, she, she got paid. She has to honor that shit. Okay. So feelings and obligations are two different things. I could, yo, there's a lot of shit we got paid for that we were like, eh, I'm not up to it, but I got paid for it. It is what it is. I'm not going to bitch and moan about it. I could feel a way, but the obligation to get the work done is what really matters. So when I say she feel a way, does that mean she should not do it? Hell no. She gots to do it. I'm saying she shouldn't feel, I'm saying I don't even understand feeling some type of way because I know this man. If he would have gave her the two thousand dollars in advance, yes. and she would have called him saying it's uh, eleven thousand dollars more, he wouldn't be understanding her. Uh, I would have been like, like, no, no, you he, signed the see, paperwork. See, this I is can the point. How you see, feel. See, see, this is the point. No, he would be like, I don't give a f how she feels. Is what he would be saying. I paid her, and the nerve of her to come back to me later on and ask me for some more money. He's tight with his dollar. I'm not. So this is the mm-hmm. funny part about this whole thing. And I'm saying to him, like, nah. Once you make an agreement. People are trying to book me in France right now, right? My price is $1,500. i am telling them, yo, if you want me in France in March, you got to give me $3,500 because I'm thinking in advance of on course. what I'm going to be worth. If she wanted to take that out on somebody, her management, and I'm not saying that y'all knew this management, 
But her management would be the one to say, yo, because my manager did, yo, I don't know if you should take that right now. Because if you take it right now, you're going to be worse you're gonna more be later. You're gonna be, or, I, or you could take a gamble and not take the money. But once you take the money, you're it's, locked in. It's nothing to talk about. So then guess what she is? She's mad at herself. Yep. Because she's like, damn, this was, like you said, $4,000 for a person with no major record label contract <laughs> to get that. And you're getting multiple of those. Mm-hmm. I'm, let's just do assumptions in an imaginary world. Our management's probably like, yo, chill. I know this is good bread. If we lamp on it for two, three months. Book it. I book need it. the money. But you know how it is. Assu- well, assumption. A- a- it's all assumption. And it could be frustrations now. Because now she got like $10,000, $4,000 bookings when they could have been nine, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 bookings. And that's where I'm coming from. I can see she'd be like, damn, nah, man. I'm going to tell you why you're going to did that. And this is from music business experience. Yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all, and this is foul. And like the, the other niggas is gonna get taxed. So you don't tax the four thousand dollar dude. Everybody else from there on in, <laughs> it was fifteen thousand. Now it's seventeen five. Kind of like after I the, give me a couple of seventeen fives, five, you gonna call me down south and y'all got drug money? It's twenty five thousand. Thirty bands. I'm gonna make my money up off of what I did. So ice, make. ice, just tax Chill. some more money. And you'll make back the four bands you've been giving up for free. Yeah, no, the 11 bands that you've oh, given yeah. up. Because and it's going to come back. Because she didn't have, yo, listen. If she had five shows for four bands, you're going to make them five shows up. Do those Quick shows. Fast. Keep getting the promotion. Put your vibe out. And the money's going to come right back to you regardless. You'll build fans. Because um, what's funny is when we first started like really building a relationship in terms of business, I'll never forget... I got called for a booking for Future. And I remember I called him. I barely knew him. I called him immediately. I said, bro, they got 300 bands for Future. We, we about to make like 30, 40 bands. He's like, word, I don't even know you calling me with this bread talk. And I'll never forget. He called me back five minutes later. He's like, yo, there's an idiot who fucked this deal up. Don't call my phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I, yo, I'll never forget this. The person's like, yo, we can't get Future. And I said, bro. You can get Cardi B right now for eighty thousand yeah. dollars, and I said, "Book her now." By the time Super Bowl rolls Carl. around, her price is gonna There's be a Super Bowl in, in Minnesota. Minnesota, and I remember I said her price yeah. is gonna be three fifty. Her shit is bubbling. They ain't want to take it. It's like no, we just want future. By the time yo, three weeks later, I said it's over. And then they call Future. That, that, that's just in a, he can't that's tell the a, whole story because we don't have enough time. Yeah. It's extreme bad business. Yeah, but it's, it shows you what Esso had said like five minutes earlier. Sometimes being able to anticipate will bring you a bigger bag, bag if you got the courage to put your money on the line. Not sometimes, most of the time. That's where people get in. When you get in before it's bubbling, that's how you really make your money. Once it's bubbling, everybody's going to jump in. And if you're lucky, you're going to get a piece. A piece isn't the pie. The pie is knowing what's coming. The pie is being aware in advance of what's coming down the line and paying attention to what's going on. People don't get rich just by doing stuff. People get rich by planning, by paying attention, and putting that plan into action 110%.